guys welcome back to our channel we are doing the much anticipated nursery reveal for you guys so i want you guys to come on in and we're going to kind of go through some things and why we decided to choose them and where we got them from and all that good stuff all right so come this way all right so this is her bookcase here so i had an adorable little puzzle made of her name off of etsy and these are kind of like the color themes for her room so we're waiting to fill up some of these picture frames with like maternity pictures and like pictures of her from the hospital. Um, as you work your way down, we have some cute baskets here that I got from Bye Bye Baby. So we have her bow collection so far. We want to get like every color of the rainbow, probably like seasonally changing the colors. She's going to be a bow girl. And then we have all the cute little mittens and hats and things like that. So hopefully we have enough of them, but these are off Amazon. I really like these. Those are really cute. A lot of this stuff is from like Amazon and Bye Bye Baby, um, like the bows and things like that. Um, we have this here, which is such a cute little photo prop that we got off of Amazon. I can put the link on that. So you can change these out for like days months years it has like your first christmas thanksgiving just cute little photo props so she's at zero right now and you know we'll be able to change that up when she gets here already running out of breath <laughs> all right um so here these are really cute we just got found these randomly at um myers but i thought they went nicely so here we have her swaddle blankets security blankets things like that oh, i got some cats strolling in um here are some of her toys this was gifted to us a nice little water mat we have blocks and rattles this was really cute too you like put them on their wrists and things like that and they move around so these are really cute some of these are gifted to us and we got <laughs> okay He's running out of breath over yeah. here these are books that we have here nice small little collections for now what i did for our baby shower is i asked people to get us books instead of cards and i thought that was a good idea to start to build her collection all right so up here we have this cute little hummingbird it was actually at pier one which most of you guys might know is closing down now so we found this and um, it's the cute little hummingbirds, which for me represents my grandma who had actually passed away back in March of this year. So I kind of wanted to incorporate some things that represent her and memorialize her. We got these cute little photo stands that we're going to fill out from TJ Maxx. Kind of goes good with the gold. That is our baby on there that didn't come yes. from uh, no. TJ Maxx. <laughs> no, no, so no, that's no. Ava when she was... I, 18 weeks I think mm -hmm. 18 weeks okay so yeah this you is... know they don't give like ultrasounds throughout the entire pregnancy so no even though I would love to have you know those ones and we kind of opted out of doing the um the 3d, 3D ones and stuff so right I might close this because we already got one cat in here yeah um yeah and also I don't know if you guys well we also did the blood test so we kind of already knew before this most people find out like 18 weeks I think we found out maybe like four weeks sooner all right and then this i thought this was really cute it says in a field of roses she is a wildflower i really want ava to stand out and be an individual and it kind of goes with her theme of flowers so i got that printed off of etsy this is just a cute simple um mirror that we got off of crate and barrel all right we have a cat hiding in here <laughs> this is just our life um so this is her closet so far. As you see, it's kind of a small closet as far as like space to hang things up. So what we've done is we've hung up, I don't know, some of the lady dresser things like her jackets. I'll show you. Danae loves the jean jacket. So we got a few of these in here in a couple different sizes. I saw the one with the flowers. That one was cute. Which one? The light colored. Uh, oh this one yeah Danae one. picked out a lot of this stuff because she's just like a fashionable person yeah H&M H&M does have and we cute. have like the matching um jean pants that go with it I'm mm -hmm. all about like top and bottom like matching yeah so she has a lot of <laughs> cute things with that what's some other cute stuff in here 
you know, just some cute. We wanted to mix up her colors. And as have much as we can. Yeah. yeah, and have like different fall colors and fun little things in here just so she wasn't too, um, just all pink everywhere. Yeah. So we have some of these cute ones hung up. This I actually just got from TJ Maxx and we're gonna put on the wall when she gets here. And it comes with the ink and everything for it. So I thought that would be really cute for like her feet and her hands. So what we've tried to do to like make things a little um, more efficient is we got like this sectional thing here from like Home Depot and I put it together. She put everything together in this room. Um, so container store, I don't know if you guys have heard of that before, but they have some really cute stuff. So this kind of helps us to organize things such as like her socks. Um, we have, what's in here? Her sleeper sacks I got. We kind of went crazy with those um, because she's gonna be a fall winter baby. So I wanna make sure she's warm and that we're not using blankets with her at night. Um, these are just some extra changing pads, you know, swaddles. So this just kind of helps with all of those like knickknack kind of side things. Oh, her decorative little booties and stuff. They're super cute. <laughs> and then this thing somehow perfectly, like to the T from Container Store, this is her laundry hamper. So it's pretty deep too. So it's pretty nice. Um, and as you'll see, we actually incorporated the wallpaper in the back as an accent. So it's not too overpowering, but it, we had some extra because we ordered the wrong size initially. And then these are from the container yeah. store too. So we really wanted like some room for her to grow into the room and kind of change things out. And then just to kind of say, you know, a little more about the, the um, wallpaper. So like she said, we did order the wrong size initially yeah. off of Etsy. And the, the people that we ordered them from, they actually were really good about sending us the right size for free without having to like um return what we had already ordered they let us keep that and then they just gave us the correct size without recharging us any type of fee for so we really appreciate them for that because you know that would have cost a lot more money to try and get it because the wallpaper wasn't you know that cheap right sorry i'm distracted by my cat all right and so then here we got this gifted to us a diaper pail here so that's going to come in handy um, this is her changing table area. Um, what I really like about this set is that this changing table is removable and you can actually add a vanity mirror in the back of it. So the way we bought this set is for her to really grow into it. It also has like a nice antique white finish. So it's not like too stark white. So I got this off of Crate and Barrel just to kind of organize some of her things. I want her wipes and diapers to be in here and things we might need. You know, while I'm changing her, make it efficient. We have a ton of these different covers and stuff like that. This here, sorry, I'm running out of breath. <laughs> um, I just thought this saying was adorable that, you know, the sunshine song, and I feel like she does kind of represent, you know, like the sunshine in our life. And um, I really liked how the flowers kind of accented the room, and we picked these nice gold frames to kind of bring out the gold that we already have in here. Um, so that was really nice and it was pretty affordable. You just like order the the JPEG off of Etsy and then they already have links to different printing websites that you can use. So it came in and it all worked out. Of course, Danea put these up, which was really <laughs> fun because of course this thing is extremely heavy. So we kind of had to maneuver around. Right. Um, so Danea, I kind of want you to explain a little bit of how you organized here. Okay. Because I'm running out of breath. <laughs> okay, so I didn't organize it on my own. I kind of had to um, have her input or else she would have gotten on me because of how it was. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so how we basically did it was um, we have like her sleepers um, at the top and then we just organize them by size. So, you know, newborn, then zero to three um, and then six months. Yeah, as um, you see, we have a ton of them. Yeah, and he, we didn't really try to color coordinate no. anything. Just kind of like threw them in there. We got some um, dividers from um, the container stores where that we stuck in here. And these are the ones that, um, I mean, you can kind of shape them to like any size. So we kind of had like that. Um, so we just have one drawer of that for for her. All right, let me pull it out so you don't shut the camera too much. 
and then we have um the next drawer i believe it's um pants. this one and the one at the at the bottom of this one are her pants mm -hmm. um and then the same with this one we did it from newborn um three months six months and then we have like a, a lot of little things in here so like this is like my favorite thing and i can't wait to find an outfit for her I know what you were <laughs> gold. so i got her these gold pants <laughs> right and i just want to find like a nice black shirt to go with it yeah and it's going to be like super cute and super stylish mm -hmm. oh, see, so I put it in there all wrong yeah it's okay Danan does this part <laughs> and this is just like her overflow right we have some stuff down there and pants down here as well um and then just some uh, bibs you have different bibs which yeah we may or may not use that right and then at the top of this side, we have her extra wipes and um, diapers just to kind of be able to change um, those out when we run out of there. And another thing I know I was watching a video was to not unpack too many diapers because you don't know how fast your baby's going to grow. So I allowed Danae to unpack one of them because it already happened mm -hmm. before I told her. Um, but yeah, we have so many diapers. Yeah, um, like we have a room, our guest room is just full of diapers. So, yep. so you know, we'll be good. We'll be set for a little while. Yeah. Uh, this drawer is her shirt. So she has two um, drawers of shirts. I mean, just too many shirts, honestly. Um, and like I said, right. the same newborn three months six months right That's and i'm kind of like hoping it. as she grows out we'll just kind of scoop some of them out and put them in a bag and just right. save them um and it'll start to make more room and then this is what we got from the container store it's not the dividers necessarily right. it comes with it but the way it fit was nicely it kind of gave us a space for mm -hmm. four layers for her right can you get down low get it <laughs> this one i think we only had one divider for it but yeah. That's fine. It's kind of yeah, packed in there. We're going to try to the best we can compact it because I've kind of seen how things can get. Mm -hmm. um, the room that you have, yeah. And like I said, you know, we, um, people were telling us to, you know, not get that, that many clothes. So we, we've kind of like slowed down on it, um, mm -hmm. since then. Um, but you know, it's hard when we go to the store and we see like this cute little baby thing yeah. that we want like buy and stuff. So And I think we haven't been too like stupid yeah. about it because we also like had about two garbage bags, three garbage bags full of clothes that were donated to us. So we kinda tried to go through the best we can and pick one that's that we liked. So not all of it is like brand brand new. Because I do feel like sometimes babies might only wear something once or twice. So we definitely were open to some donations and picking up to nine months. So zero to nine months of clothes. Mm -hmm. This is a good time for me to show the chair because I need to sit down. <laughs> so this is like an adorable little pillow that matches it that we got from Pier 1. I am a little big, so I don't really fit with it like that. But this is like my favorite piece of furniture in this whole entire room. Um, so this was off of Amazon. I think it's called Multi Million millionaire baby yeah millionaire like baby i think um i mean i think i'm gonna post a link because i really love this chair um it does have to be plugged up because it is an electronic recliner um but there's little buttons on the inside and i'm just gonna show you guys because it's really relaxing and it's quiet it goes back so this is like really comfortable it'll be good when i'm nursing her or when we're sitting here you know relaxing reading books whichever and i'm sure she'll really appreciate it too as she gets older and then like if we need to take a nap or something it goes right, all the way down all the way, yeah. all the way down like yeah so down. and as you see it's also a swivel and it's a rocker so because we like had a hard time deciding like this was literally a hybrid of everything that we wanted mm -hmm. um so i'm really happy with it has the cute studs and it was pretty easy I would say for the most part to put together. Zanea put this together, but it came in like three pieces. Um, so I think this was two pieces. Two pieces. It was two pieces. Two pieces. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't that bad at mm -hmm. all, and everything came nicely shipped and everything. And I'll tell you guys something. So like the biggest pieces we have in here is the, you know, the rocker, and then we have her um, shelving unit uh, or bookcase unit. Sorry about that. Um, the dresser in her her crib over here. So these pieces, when they ship them to, we're two women, 
you know, I'm fairly small and Mel is, is, is pregnant. So when they ship it to us, you know, you have to pay extra for these items to be brought into your home. Right. And we didn't want to pay an extra hundred and something, right. you know, three hundred dollars just for them to bring into the house. So we like, you know, y'all have to just drop that right at the door. And on we a giant bringing, pallet it came on. On a giant pallet. pallet. <laughs> and then we had to push or like roll it into this house. So we did that. Danaya, <laughs> I like call her Bob the Builder because I feel like she has really shown like her handy skills with this and like her kind of like she can do it. You know what I'm saying? We didn't really have to call anybody to help with those type of things. However, the paint, as you can see, this was kind of like a little family effort here. I really like the soft uh, pink color that we had chose. Danaya, her mom, her brother and her cousin kind of spent a day painting it um and we did leave kind of like this metal beam white right we didn't want too much pink i mean it's just already a lot of it pink is a lot on. of pink um but i think it went really well with the wallpaper um which we'll kind of show a little closer um as well so while i'm sitting i'll kind of show this desk a little bit um so this thing right here i haven't turned it on yet this is like my little expensive purchase that we made off of amazon they're like 80 or 90 dollars but it is a night light it's a sound machine there's a little digital clock on it and you can connect it to your phone and you have an audio in here so did the thing turn off oh um so basically on my phone i can like talk to ava and she can talk to me through this speaker here when she's old enough to talk when she's old <laughs> enough right they said it's good for toddlers um and sleep training and you know things like that so i really like that this here is from Target. I just liked the accent of the birds here and how it kind of goes with the room, with the flowers and everything. And I found this, I think, at Macy's. This thing is a little bulky, but I know it's kind of necessary. It's our humidifier. Um, so it was gifted to us. So while we need to, you know, for the first few months or whatever, um, we'll make sure it's on for her. And we're gonna get like our air ducts cleaned and all that so she has fresh air. Um, and then in here as you see we're kind of overflowing we got a ton of these receiving and blankets um and burp, cloths. burp cloths and things like that so this is kind of like my feeding station i feel like um right now there's kind of just junk under here but um hold on the plan is to put her breast her breast yeah my breast, breast stuff, pump yeah. i'm gonna get a little scuff that's okay all right let me shove it back in there i did that and then of course coasters, you know, for drinks and things like that. Um, you can probably stay seated. Okay, thank God. Um, so this seat here, um, it wasn't exact the exact color that we thought it was gonna be, but I think it works out. We just wanted like a little puffer seat um, for like Danaya to sit on, or you know, if someone else is in here with me and a cute little blanket. Um, up here on the wall, I got these made by a family member. These are her initials, A and C, so I think they turned out really nice. Um, they have the kind of colors that we wanted that accented the room. Um, and then on the sides of it, like up there, we have her audio baby monitor as like an extra layer of, you know, just keeping an eye on her. And then that is an antique from my grandma. It's actually a little musical um, thing, so when you turn it, it makes a nice little melody and it kind of goes with the room and everything. Mm -hmm. All right, so I will get up to kind of show this. Okay. All right, so her crib. So um, what I like about this crib is it's versatile. So um, as we go closer, there's a nice um, tuft fabric on the sides of it. So we can turn it this way or the other way. Um, and then as you come in closer, Dania, uh, we have it kind of simple in here right now. We got her one of these, which I really like. It's off of Amazon and it makes adjustments. It's for her to lay in so she doesn't get that flat head. Um, I think this will also hopefully help a little bit with rolling um, and kind of just keeping her safe. Um, so we'll probably move some of these out the way, but if she's in here, I also feel kind of good. Like she's more secured. These are just some cute stuffed animals. We got her unicorns and a rainbow, of course. 
These are like little binky ones. This one I just picked out not that long ago and I thought it was really cute. It's like a little latte. It says I love you. A latte. Because all she does is drink like lattes and coffee and she has her baby like doing backflips. Yeah, stomach. so me and her are going to have like Starbucks dates and stuff. <laughs> and then like she said, this is the side of it with the tough. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. It has that nice beige color. Mm -hmm. This is... And, you know, like, when you get up close to it, too, so, um, it's not like a white white. The, um, description of it is a vintage white that we got, so it gives it a little bit of character. Character, and I think this helps with the durability and look of it, because if this was, like, stark white, as soon as it gets scratched or something like that, I feel like it would be really obvious, and so with this, it kind of makes it more durable. We actually have a similar finish on our bed and right. that makes it last and then back here you know that's the the wallpaper, wallpaper. that was like nice soft flowers so when we got this wallpaper it came in panels and we actually had to line it up and it was a stick and peel so we pulled off the back of it and were able to stick it what I really liked about that is you can readjust it and it didn't rip. It was mm -hmm. durable and it doesn't um, mess your walls up so when we're ready to take it down um, I think it'll be fairly easy and we can just, you know, paint or do something else with it. Um, but yeah, we spent so long trying to find that. This is kind of like the accent yeah. and the inspiration for the room colors. Um, this here is her freaking adorable rocking cat. And as you see, we have her name on it, Ava Cross. All right, and we're cat people, so that's why she has yeah. a cat. Well, right, <laughs> right. We love cats, so... And it's pink and it's really cute. Uh, this is the Mama Roo that we got. We bought it off of a friend. Um, so we got a pretty good deal on it. And I, of course, wanted to get something that would match the room. So we ordered these off of Etsy. These are actually both reversible. So if you go like this, this is the other side. It's still really pretty and cute. And it's like a nice washable material. So it's the infant insert for the Mama Roo. So hopefully she likes that. I know babies are a little picky, but I'm hoping she'll appreciate it at least for the first few months. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the overview of the room. This has a, been a lot of work, time, and effort put into it. Um, sorry, don't mind me. <laughs> um, but I would say that we're definitely happy with it. Like I said before, all of this stuff, it kind of, it's hard to stay on budget with things when you really want you know the best for her but i think overall i think we did a really good job and i'm really happy with it oh you forgot to show the um camera oh yeah that's our camera for her monitoring and things like that too so it's gonna be watching her yeah like a hawk nobody better not come in and try to steal her or nothing like that yeah <laughs> and we got security on the windows so Work. it's nice and secured in here <laughs> All right, well, we appreciate you walking through with us. I know I'm like out of breath, but um, we are very excited to kind of film when she actually gets here and her being in her room and enjoying it. I know as an infant, she's only gonna spend so much time in here, but I'm hoping I could feed and she can take naps in here. And then we're gonna have like a bedside bassinet um, for the first few months. All right, if you guys have any feedback, um, support, comments, let us know. We will try to include some links to some of the products in here if you guys are interested. Um, and thank you for watching.